Hey guys, hope everything's going well. You guys know that drill. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at AIH underscore sports. Follow me on my finance channel at AIH Finance. Okay, a few notes. I am probably going to be speaking uh, with Dakota uh, on a live stream. Uh, we're both uh, a little more calm than we were, so I think it's more appropriate uh, to have a conversation. And hopefully it's not going to be anything like his live stream on Saturday and what I did on Sunday. That is usually out of character for me on camera to go like that. But, you know, it happens to all of us. And um, the thing is, I may be running late to that. I told him I may not know until maybe a few hours before. And uh, I'll try to make it on um, if I'm late maybe hopefully 20, 30 minutes max. Uh, but I intend to have a conversation with him for at least 30 to 45 minutes. Hopefully it could be an hour. Uh, now, yeah, and uh, we'll straighten things out and we should have a good conversation. Okay, now in terms of this video, I was thinking to myself, should I do this video? Because I got a lot of aggressive comments coming at me the last few days uh, in the live stream, aggressive comments. And uh, I understand uh, a lot of people right now are on edge. You tend to see that with uh, markets going down. Crypto has been crushed. You have the stock market going down. So people are a little uneasy. But, you know, like I said, the comment section in my live streams have been quite interesting lately uh, but anyways um, in terms of uh, this video this is a joke video right to a certain extent time to pump NASCAR guys let's pump up NASCAR joking I'm joking don't take this out of context um, but this past weekend and to all you F1 fans don't, don't be uh, sending these crazy messages to me or commenting uh, but if you look at the ratings, I got this uh, from P. Ryan Collection the other day. It was in his story. I just took a screenshot. And it had about 2.6 million viewers on NASCAR on Sunday and the race in Miami about a million. And you could just look at it. You could see that still in the United States, NASCAR is more popular than F1. Now, people may argue that F1 globally is more popular, and that is true. And you've seen prices have gone up for F1. In my opinion, that is hype. Uh, just because you have millions of people overseas, that doesn't justify the valuation of uh, the cards. For instance, there is intense demand for sports cards in Asia for basketball, particularly Southeast Asia. For instance, I've had people from Shanghai message me. I've had people from the Philippines that are interested in basketball. So you got a lot of rich, affluent individuals from that part of the world throwing money in basketball. But we've seen basketball prices, they have went down big time, right? since what February March of last year okay and there are cards that are low in population so let's just keep that in perspective in addition uh, we did see the runoff of F1 cards for the past six seven months okay and um, yeah we were in the pandemic but at the same time there's a Netflix series, so a lot of people were, in my opinion, thinking, okay, what could we go that hasn't gone up in value? And F1 was one of it. And uh, that being said, if you're just looking at uh, these markets in general, you could look at, okay, cricket cards, for instance, right? I've talked about this. There's approximately same amount of demand or amount of viewers in cricket versus F1, but cricket cards really haven't gone anywhere. 
because uh, there isn't too much demand for people in the United States. Yeah, you may have some foreign investors in F1, uh, but how the story goes over and over again is once you get more exposure, the hype builds up and eventually it fades. This is what happened with PMGs for Marvel. And I've discussed my own thoughts about that. You've had uh, even basketball cards, which uh, have attracted foreign investment. That Those have gone down. Top shots, same thing. You, you could bring out many different markets. And the same story goes over and over again. And now you have to remember, uh, we are in a different environment. This is the post-pandemic. People have less discretionary income. And eventually things will not, these are fads and people will cha transition or move their money into uh, different assets. Now, for instance, uh, for instance, there are cards or there are investors in PMGs and now some of these uh, speculators are moving into Star Wars. I let you know my opinion about that. I got some heat. Some people really like that video. Whatever you think about that, right? Uh, but people, they just uh, act like hedge funds, right? Go from one industry to the other or one specific market to the other. And my opinion, uh, the card values are not going to go up just because uh, you have more viewers of a sport. Right now, we're in a time of rising interest rates. The Fed is slowly raising interest rates. And a lot of people are now getting nervous about the economy. Now, that being said, I still believe the economy will probably be in a recession 2024, not now. But the stock market does not look good, right? A lot of bear sentiment. But what I'm just saying is probably from a long-term perspective, I'm still not bullish on these cards. And I have suspicions on these prices and whether some of these are legitimate or not. Um, I believe a cage lawyer on Instagram, I think he has a YouTube page, Luca Nation, I think that's what it was. He even was saying that he's skeptical about some of the prices. And I found that quite interesting, that Instagram post. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, what do you guys think about this, right? I always ask that in the comment section. I let you know, where I'm coming from, I don't believe um, there's too much more to go in these type of prices. If those that bought a couple of years ago before the hype, okay, you're still in the money, even if there's a huge correction. But at the same time, we see how these markets go. Liquidity evaporates, prices come tumbling down. And this is what I talk about all the time. I know some people don't want to hear it. Some people were leaving nasty comments during the live stream. But you know what? I tell you what I think. And, you know, that's what this blog is all about, guys. Anyways, uh, let me know. Remember to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And hopefully I'll be on Dakota's live stream tomorrow. And uh, we'll hash things out. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.